So now there is one problem with this file and that these are all still separate objects. If we go back to our ZBrush file, you're gonna see uh, if we alt tap the body here and we go into solo mode and we hold down control shift and click, all of these when we export it are just separate files. We've got his overalls here, his beard here, this button, uh, his soles of his feet. These are all separate and I wanna game res them as one solid low res piece. Everything you see here, I wanna be game res basically as an envelope. So now in ZBrush, you could go in here and you could do uh, geometry dynamesh and that would create a uh, an envelope here. You could also hit W, go up here and say remesh by union and that would do a Boolean union between all of these pieces. You could do either of those options in Houdini. Uh, we'll, we'll opt for the voxelize just to kind of show that off for a second. So in order to see that working, let's hit tab and then start typing in voxel. And that'll give us our labs voxel mesh here. If we take this output and plug it into the input of the voxel mesh, you're going to see, well, we kind of see the result, but we see kind of two results. So because we have this node visible and this one selected, we kind of see both of them. And uh, here's our voxel properties, uh, but our poly reduces the visible one. So let's take, let's select the voxel mesh so we can have the properties available and then go ahead and click this blue icon here so we can see the result of that. So you see, just like we were talking about, the voxelization process just basically creates an envelope of a mesh. So you get all one mesh in here as opposed to a bunch of different meshes. Now, the resolution isn't great. You can see it's kind of breaking down around the eyeballs here. Um, there's a couple options. So over here you can go, here's low, here's mid, which is the default. And then if you go over here to high, that's going to essentially drop the voxel size down so you get more detail and it's gonna result in more geometry. And you can see it's gonna cook a little bit longer. Now, if we middle mouse click over this voxelized mesh, you're gonna see our verts went up to 52 million. So we actually had more than when we went through that poly reduce. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. And we go a little bit deeper into the voxelized process uh, and the Houdini, Houdini game dev tool set that we've mentioned earlier. Uh, but just really quickly, you can go back to mid and then you can like project to pre original and sharpen features to kind of give you a result. And you can dilate and you can smooth iterations and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna dial in the amount of polygons that I think I'll need to give us a decent result without going to the high setting. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna say custom and by default it's gonna be 0.1. So what might be safer is just like start with 0.01. So we're gonna make those voxels smaller and then we'll go 0 0.00, let's go 0.005. There we go. And then as, as I make this number smaller, it's gonna be dialing more resolution. Now one thing we can do is we can middle mouse click over the resolution and you're gonna see we wanna make a very small change. So I'm gonna go down here to 0 0.001 and then start moving this to the left. So we can drop that to 0 0.004, 0 0.002, Maybe 0 0.003 is our sweet spot. That gives us enough information. Or you know what, we can split the difference and say, you know, let's do 0 0.0025. There we go. 